Ladies gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about we, 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 we. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. <laughs> Yo, King's Court MMA, your guy, the king. Obasogi, hope you're all good this afternoon. I had to quickly make this happen, I had to jump back on just in response to the UFC 287 preview show um, where APL and Mardi were covering the Coleman event at Jorge Street Judas Masvidal versus Gilbert Burns. I have to say, in their assessment, I felt it was a bit, I felt it was a bit soft. I felt they were giving Jorge a little bit too much respect. I felt, I felt if I was Gilbert Burns or a Gilbert Burns fanboy, I would have felt a little bit disrespected. I, I was expecting some more, some more love for Gilbert Burns. So I've just jumped on quickly now to throw into the mix to create a, an air of balance to, to that preview. And uh, yeah, basically I want to say, I'm going to make it really clear a minute in who my pick is. Gilbert Dorino Burns all day, every day. For me, I see this as light work for Gilbert. I think this is a serious mismatch. And I think Jorge, he's been fed. He's, he, he's going to be like a sheep to a wolf. Gilbert Burns being that the wolf, the tiger, the lion and the bear. He's going to absolutely, he's going to have him for supper. Maybe have some leftovers for, for breakfast the next morning. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm scared for Huawei. I, I think this is a bad matchup for him. Um, and I'm going to go into why I believe that now with, with some facts, with some statistics. Why not? Check the statistics. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why? Without killing too much time. So, Jorge's last fight, he lost to Kobe. Uh, UFC 272, March the 5th, 2022. Round five, so that was a decision, unanimous decision. Got fight of the night, but Kobe absolutely starched him. That, 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 wasn't, that wasn't even questionable. Jorge had no response to the wrestling and the, the sheer pressure and the cardio machine that Kobe Covington is. So, th that was light work. Before that, you had a title shot at Kamaru Usman. Uh, this is UFC 261, uh, 24th of April 2021. That ended in round two. We all know how that ended. Kamaru Usman stayed the champ. Knockout of the year. Took Jorge's head off. Sent him to the shadow realm. Absolutely. And may I add, that was in Jacksonville, which happens to be Jorge's home state, Florida. So that happened on down, down the street from where he lives. Down the street from where he, he sleeps at night. Just saying. This weekend also happens to be actual hometown town, not just home state, in Miami. Don't know if that's a bit of an omen. Um, before that, defeat to Kamara Usman. He also lost to Kamara Usman, if you recall, back in Abu Dhabi. He, he, he was a last-minute replacement. Lost decision, unanimous. Again, uh, that was uh, July the 12th, 2020, UFC 251. Again, didn't have any answer to, to Kamara's wrestling game at the end of the day. And that was a, 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 a light, light, light works night for Kamaru, the champion. Before that, we've got to go back to November the 2nd, 2019, UFC 244, for Jorge's last win, um, which was against Nate, Nate Diaz, which was a TKO, Dr. Stoppage. Um, to, and that was his last win, and that was the win where he secured the symbolic BMF title. So that's the last time. We're in 2023 now, people. Jorge hasn't won a fight since 2019, end of 2019. But granted, 2019 was the year of Street Judas. He had a fantastic, that's probably his best year in, in, in the UFC and has got him the high profile, kind of higher profile name and, and the contract and all the accolades that go with it that he's got today and bestowed upon him and deservedly so all from his 2019 accomplishments and achievements. Because also in that year, in the summer, July the 6th, 2019, UFC 239 in Vegas, that flying knee on Ben Askren's dome that absolutely decapitated him. Um, fastest knockout in UFC history, standard performance of the night. Um, I believe Jorge even has the tattoo. 
<laughs> the tattoo <laughs> with the uh, eternity stones on his shoulder there, um, which symbolizes that, that dirty KO. And then also that year, beginning of the year, March the 16th, 2019, it was a fight night, starched down until, knocked him out. That was at the O2 Arena, that got performance of the night, that also got fight of the night. And that was when the, uh, the, the, the three piece in the solo was thrown at Leon Rocky Edwards backstage, um, mid Caroline Pierce interview. Um, and that's where the beef between those two fighters really did escalate because obviously Leon has wanted to get his hands on a Hawk Street Judas, particularly since that point. And, 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 you know, APR makes a great point and, and I think that's swayed his pick. Swayed it maybe in a, in a not so good way where he really wants Jorge to get through this because he, he, he feels strongly that it will set up the, the big fight, the revenge for, for Leon Rocky Edwards, which I get. Um, and yeah, I think between all three of us, you know, we all want Leon to make as much money as possible and to line his pockets nicely because he deserves it. He's been on quite the journey and Jorge would set that up nicely, but I, I just don't think Jorge gets out of this, maybe even with his limbs intact, because I think Gilbert is an absolute animal. Um, forget the UFC record. The guy is, I think, five-time gold medalist world jiu-jitsu champion, um, two-time silver. He is, a, we're talking not just black belt, we're talking third degree black belt jiu-jitsu. And I think, uh, I think the two kings maybe forgot that. Um, he is serious and we're talking accolades is jiu-jitsu world championships and accolades that go back to, to 2010. So that's back 13 years where he's been cleaning up in that, in that particular sport and art. Quickly glancing at his MMA record, his last fight was this year and not a year ago, this year. So he's fresh. January the 21st to be specific, UFC 283, submission of Neil Magny in Brazil, first round. Boom. That comes that fight, which was April 9th, 2022, at UFC 273. Fight of the night, what a fight. I thought it was super close. Comes got the win. Um, so Gilbert took the loss that night. Comes yeah, took a unanimous decision win. Before that, he beat Steve from under boy Thompson uh, with a unanimous decision, and that was July the 10th, 2021. Lost to Kamaru when he went up for the belt, as we know. Kamaru's beautiful TKO with the punches. Finished him off. Um, unfortunately, he was unsuccessful that time. But before that Kamaru loss, Gilbert was on the tear. He beat Tyron Woodley. He beat Damien Meyer. He beat Gunnar Nelson. We're talking one, two, three, four, five, six wins. Six wins between 2018 and him losing for the title shot in 2021 against Kamaru. And his only other loss before that is Dan Hooker back in... July the 7th, 2018, at UFC 226. Lost to Dan Hooker, was knocked out by him. So, just based on the recent record and activity, and the fact that Gilbert Burns is just an animal and, and, and has proven that in terms of the streaks and the wins he has, for me, it's a like I said, it's a massive mis mismatch. I think he's the fresher fighter. He's the younger fighter, I believe, by three years, I believe. Um, Jorge is 30, I want to say 39 this year. Believe, uh, well, Gilbert's 36, so slightly fresher and more active. Um, I think he's got bigger accomplishments with the jiu-jitsu under his name, with the wins un under his record in recent years. I just think it's, it's light work. I'm terrified for Street Judas. I think it's a massive mismatch. Um, I believe that, I believe he loses a limb. I'm I'm going beginning of round three. I think he's gonna. I think Gilbert's gonna wear down on Jorge, and I think he submits him. I think he takes a limb at the beginning of round three. So I don't think Jorge <laughs> is going to be fighting anyone any anytime soon. And it could be as savage as as as, as you know. Like, well, it could be as savage as being his last fight in the UFC because that would be four losses on on the bounce. I think that's unlikely because I believe he's on a lucrative contract and he's. He's obviously got his own promotion and he's got a lot of business dealings that are entwined with the UFC. Very clever of him. I think it's unlikely that he'll get cut, but four losses, you're never going to fight for the belt. Again, in, in my eyes, not at the point he is in his career. So putting it out there, my pick, Gilbert, all day, every day, makes it light work. I cannot wait to see the King's reaction to this video. Um, thought they were a little bit too soft. Put some respect on Doreenio's name because... 
Street Judas ain't got nothing on Dorino. It's been your boy Oba, Soggy, Oba and out. Peace. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about that. We, 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 we. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so.